Hello everyone. In my previous video, I developed very simple search functionality in my to-do management application. So from the screen, you can see that with that search box, I can look for some items by keyword. For example, writing. You can see those items or stories. Yeah. But what if I want to search something like writing stories? I don't care about the, the amount. I just care about some items with writing and stories. You can see when I search, it didn't give me the expected items. So I what I expect is the search box should be working like Google. So this is what we call full text search. This is, or this is also what I'm going to cover in this video. So I'm going to show you how Laravel can support such full text search. So let's look into the documentation. Laravel has a package called Scout to help developers to add full text search to the models. So it's very well documented here. So I'm not going to repeat. So let's just start. First of all, we need to install the Scout package. So we use, I am using Composer. Probably you are using the same. This is the first step. And we need to publish the service provider once it's installed. Okay, that's it. And you should be able to see a scout.php config file. In this file, there's a list of config items. By default, you can see a scout driver is set to Agolia. I'm going to cover it shortly. So this is the config and uh, there are two items, config items for, for Agolia, ID and secret. I'm going to show you how to get them. So you can, in general, you can set them as environment variables in .env file. That's what I'm also going to, to show you. Okay, so next step is that you add the searchable trait to the model you want to support the full text search. In other words, the model you want to index. Okay, you add a trait to the model. Basically, that's it. Once you finish this step, the model uh, will be indexed. Okay, next, this is a driver prerequisites. So we, if we use Agolia, we need to add, we need to install the, the Agolia SDK. Let's do it. Okay, that is wrong. Okay, so that's most of the installation steps. For configuration, I'm not going to cover too much, but in general, you can specify the model index and uh, the searchable data. So you have multiple columns in a table and uh, a model maps to that table. Um, sometimes you don't want all the data in the model or table to be indexed. For example, the ID, the timestamp, you may, you may want to just avoid them in, in, in the index as it doesn't make too much sense for search purpose. Okay, so this is how you can customize and uh, configure search index. And uh, the other thing is the import. So sometimes you add the search functionality to an existing project 
or application. So the model and the data are already there, and the, the, the data in the database need to be synchronized and uh, indexed for the first run. So you can use scout import to import all your data in your database or, or data storage to the Agodia index storage index. So they can be indexed. So that's that's a one-off execution. Also, you can flush the index from from the search index. So it's it's a cleanup operation. After you flush all the index in Agodia, for example, will be removed. And uh, the last step is query. How you can use it. So let me just go to it. So this is um, search. Okay, this is how you can use it. You just use the search function. Order search. And uh, you can chain with other simple query condition. And uh, let me show you how to apply to the code. Let's finish the code, then move on to the Agodia side. Okay. And uh, the search, you if you remember, it's here in the to-do list functionality. So we are using the SQL functionality to do the search. Uh, we want to do it in a different way as we have added the scout support so we can remove this part instead we we can use, we are going to use scout search If the search keyword is not empty, the query will be to do search this search keyword. Otherwise, We can tweak a bit in the case of a uh, so we move here. So this is how we build the query of it. If the keyword is not empty, we use a search function. So this is a full text search. Now we have most of things we need for the full text search. Next step, next step is Agodia. We need to config. So what is Agodia? So from the official website, you can see this is a search and discovery platform. I have I have already registered. Uh, for the uh, from the pricing, you can see. So if we just use for experiment or some personal or small project, you can just use a free plan. So it depends on what you need. Let me go to your dashboard. So if remember that in in the config, scout config, two items, Agodia app ID and the secret. What are they? So when you sign up and you go to application keys, you can create your own ap application. So this is the app ID. 
and uh, this is the, the keys searchable and uh, are the main key for your overall application if you want to import or update the index so you probably and admin so you want to use admin API key so this is a key and once you get them you add them to the dot email file you can see here the Agodia app key app ID is this one the application ID and uh, the key secret is the uh, API key so you click this button to copy and uh, paste to your .email file I just share the, the ID and the key in this video I'm going to regenerate after the video so it should be saved to me and it's ready now so you save and uh, okay next step is as I already have some data in my database so I need to import this is a step import so I want to I index to do model so this is what I also want to import so it show you that all the items have been imported okay now let's go back to the to do page if refresh and search writing okay you see something seems it's not changed okay invalid sign of a number condition okay this is something we need to pay more attention so when you use search and uh, some condition the where condition may not be applied so let's remove it for now and uh, just search by keyword okay we can see if we, if user ID works okay in the writing search okay you can see the problem is the greater or equal greater than or equal to so somehow it's not supported by scout search we can look into it later but now we focus on the search functionality so writing is working stories is also working right and writing stories it's still working and let me show you you can see the difference here there's a item writing so when I search writing item stories so it will match the others so you can see this is what we call full text search something similar as Google okay you know that we can use Scout to uh, add the full text search functionality to your Laravel application and uh, you also learn how to create a API key or application in Agodia dashboard okay so this is what I am going to cover today and as usual all the code will be submitted and I will make a PR and put it in the video description feel free to check it out and uh, comment okay that's it for today thanks for watching see you next time